Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I never start my videos like that. What? Anyways, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and of course, this is my channel. So today's video, we're going to be doing trying to be that girl for a day. So basically, this is going to be my version. I'm going to make it realistic. Um, I know usually it's like the 5 a.m. wake up and yes, I do that sometimes, but this is my version and this is going to be the real deal. The real deal. <laughs> okay, so it's 7.10 a.m. or 7.09. I don't know why I made up a time. It's 7.09 a.m. Um, and basically, I, yeah, I went to bed like at 11 basically. So I got my full eight hours. Um, I wasn't going to wake up at 5 just for this video. No, we're going to make this real. But yeah, clearly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be that girl, but in a Jessica way, you know? So yeah, let's um, make the bed and then start our morning routine. I have a new pimple coming in, so that's amazing. Um, okay, so the bed is done. Now we're gonna head to the bathroom. By the way, I'm in Panama. Um, I'm doing an Airbnb tour later today, which is gonna be posted sometime next, oh, in two weeks. So yeah. <laughs> oh, let's look at my view while we're here. This is my view. And there's the water. That was just a little a little sneak peek okay so yeah what bathroom my brain just you know so now i'm going to brush my teeth if i'm going to the gym in the morning like i am today i don't wash my face is that normal because it's like why would i wash my face with soap if i'm going to just get sweaty i don't know that's just my thought but i see some people do that but i'm just like are you just going to double wash your face i don't know i find that honestly when i do it my way that girl Jessica way. Um, so funny, I was gonna say I bring out less, but I think this is just because, I said this in my last video, but um, my period's late. I'm 100% not pregnant, so we're going through a fun time right now. Um, it's kind of dark. I have windows here as well. I guess I should have probably opened these up. Wow, look at all the light. By the way, um, a little tip, always brush your teeth first in the morning before drinking any water. I said this in one of my videos in January, but you have bacteria in your mouth that has been building overnight, so you want to brush that away, rinse that away, and then drink water. Learned that from a holistic nutritionist and a herbalist back then, and I'm telling you guys again. Okay. I usually like to use like all natural, like you know, organic toothpaste, but this is the best I could find um, in Colombia. It's Colgate Zero. Zero this, zero that, zero this, zero that. Um, vegan, it said on the box, so sometimes you get what you can get, you know? Beggars can't be choosers, and I was really begging for a new toothpaste. Also, if you guys have noticed, no phone action until you've done your morning routine. It just like, I don't even know if that's a that girl thing. Maybe it is. Whatever. It's like a my thing, and I think a lot of people are starting to do that as well. Just because, like, when you go on social media first in the morning, it's like, oh no, like tend to yourself first, and then I'll deal with all y'all people. <laughs> it's true. You have to fill your cups. Cups. You have to fill your cup first before you can help other people. <laughs> Okay, we're done brushing our teeth. Okay. Off to the living room. Did I put the light off in there? I didn't even put the light on in there, I guess. It's kind of chilly. I love the AC on all night. No. Okay. Let me set up. This looks so cute with the little plant behind me. Anyways, I plugged in my watch because I'm going to be using it for the gym and it was dying. I put on some like, I don't know. These are kind of um, pajamas actually. I got them in the pajama section, so they're pajamas. But yeah, I just wanted something on my legs because it's kind of getting a little chilly. But um, if you know me, I love keeping my robe on for as long as I can. I'm going to do my morning stuff. I'm actually going to drink some water now. That girl water? No. I honestly got this yesterday and... Yeah, I need to get more water today though. I just got some hand yesterday, so I don't know who I think I am making this video the first day here, first full day, but we're gonna make it work. 
literally don't know why I have my eyes closed. Water just tastes so good right now. I watched some of these that girl videos, and in the beginning, everyone is, I guess, putting out a little disclaimer, but like, you guys know, like, I'm obviously doing this my way, um, for the new people here, hi, but, um, yeah, that girl is who you want it to be, you don't have to strive to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, like, like, I wouldn't wake up at 5 a.m. just for this video, like, no, I went to bed a little bit late last night, 11 o'clock, I wanted to get a full 8 hours, so I'm waking up at 7, and that's just that, and I feel amazing, if I woke up at 5 o'clock, yeah it, i would be able to get through the day but like after traveling yesterday and everything like i'm not gonna wake up at five o'clock just to be that girl like no that girl is who you want to be in your way and yeah don't wake up at 5 a.m just because you want to don't have a 10 step morning routine just because like you feel like you have to my morning routine is a little bit long on most days not every day like yesterday i woke up at like 3 a.m because i had to go to the airport did i do one part of my normal morning routine no i didn't and that's just fine because i'm that girl in my own way so yeah that girl is your version of that girl. Don't strive to be that girl. It's you are that girl, you know? Wow, that's good. Okay, so my morning routine, I'm actually gonna do the full thing just because like I have time today, but um, if I didn't have time, you bet your bottom dollar, I've never said that in my life. You bet your bottom dollar, um, I wouldn't be doing this full thing. So anyways, what am I starting off with? Wow, I got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> guys this is this is a little obsessive but like i'm feeling really good i'm telling you eight hours will make you feel really good <laughs> if i woke up at 5 a.m i would not be doing this i'd probably do one or two of these things but get your eight hours of sleep it's it's underestimated maybe i need one more hour because my brain is just not it's not firing on all cylinders right now so gratitude 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 I talk about it all the time and that's gonna be first. I also do these like mini vlogs on TikTok and it's hard today because I'm like, it's hard when I'm filming my whole day on the camera and to bring up my phone and film some things as well. Like I was doing them in my bed, guys. First of all, it just didn't work. It just didn't work. So we're gonna figure it out. I might just do one piece of the morning routine on my actual phone, but yeah. And I have it set up, guys. Like literally none of my text messages come as notifications i've had this for like over six months i just don't get notifications for text like i will check my text when i want to it's actually a little side note it's actually funny because i put i'm gonna show you guys this tiktok a couple days ago and i was like the caption was like when you check your phone no when you see a text and you don't automatically respond and the background noise was like oh it's self-care look it up and it is self-care because that's boundaries like don't feel the need to respond asap you can respond when you want to this is i guess kind of part of like that no it's not really that girl thing it's just like boundaries but um yeah like don't feel the need to have to respond asap like you can respond when you want to and especially if you're not feeling like 100 percent up to it do it when you want to and i just realized i did talk about this in another video but anyways Three things I'm grateful for today. We're gonna do what day is today? March 16th. Because I got here on the 15th. So cute. I'm not sure you can take a picture. A little strike if you're doing like your morning routine and you want to post parts of it on like Instagram or whatever, just take a picture of your phone. You don't have to open the Instagram app because of course if you see whose stories are up then you see like the your feed, you might see some notifications, it just gets you anxious. Like I used to do that, take videos from the Instagram app, but then you get to see like I don't know. It's technology, it's dopamine, it triggers something in you. You see those numbers and notifications, you're like, oh my god, I want to check. And the whole time you're doing your morning routine, you're just like thinking about that. And it's like, no, go to your camera app. Hi, oh my god, that's cool. And um, take a picture of whatever you want to take a picture of, and then just post it onto Instagram afterwards. My setting right now, for some reason, I have to fix this later, is when you take in your camera app and you put it onto Instagram, like you have to zoom out a bit. So always just zoom out a little bit on your camera app. I think it's just like the. Oh, I thought I could multitask until the second. I think it's just the width of everything, you know. Okay, so three things I'm grateful for today. I'm actually going to do this part with you guys. Everything else, I'm just going to do like a little fast loop because we're going to be here for a while. Okay, first of all, I'm going to say getting eight hours of sleep because I'm telling you guys, my sleep recently has been horrible. So today feels like I, I have been reborn today. <sighs> I 
don't know, sometimes I just think of like, not random things. Am I looking okay? I feel like I'm like, not looking okay. I should open the window probably. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I just think of random things. Like right now, I'm looking at my water bottle. I just finished it. And I'm gonna write fresh drinking water because I think I have this, I think I did like a couple weeks ago too. I don't know, I think we take little things for granted and fresh drinking water, there's so many places on the earth right now that don't have that and it's, on, it's honestly a privilege to have fresh drinking water so appreciate it and next time when you're drinking water have a little extra sip just to hydrate yourself and just to know that you're you're lucky oh my god see and then I just look outside and like the view the view and it doesn't have to be anything crazy like I'm gonna read some of the things I have from last week Okay, so I have like my hearing because I think I was like hearing bird chirp or whatever and I was like, okay, definitely my hearing, another chance to explore life. So when you, when you wake up, we just have another chance for life, you know? Some people didn't get that luxury today. <clears throat> the morning speech I listened to, I don't know. I think I just search something up on, sometimes I do that. I think I just search something up on YouTube and I just listen to a speech. The sun, my healthy and able body. Oh. Um, some of these are kind of personal, so I'm like, ooh. <laughs> uh, oh, the sun again. Morning routine. Uh, my future. I have TikTok on here. Yeah. So I do a lot of random things. Anyways, gratitude done. This book I got for four dollars at my local dollar store. Why did I say like that? Dollar store. Ooh. Everything else, I'm just gonna. Put you guys over there. Oh, there's my yoga mat. I was doing some stretches last night after I broke down my legs because I needed it. <laughs> I look so weird, but like whatever. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Okay, I realized that I have my old journal here because it was in one of my bags which had all my books. But um, I'm gonna get my, my current journal. This light is pissing me off. Okay, I think this is a little bit better. I don't really know. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is my current journal that I've been using um, because my other one is full. So thank God I actually brought this on me with my, on my trip. Because I knew my other one was ending soon. I'm like, when did I start using this one? I was in Costa Rica. On Valentine's Day, look at that. 2 14 22. So, yeah. I just have like a lot of like color pens, and these mostly seep through. I'm gonna say use like, I'll use blue. I'll use like a baby blue today. So, yeah, journaling time. <sighs> journaling, okay, another thing for journaling, back row journaling. Journaling is so personal, you know, like you don't have to do specific journal prompts. Like, of course you can, like, of course, don't, don't get me wrong. But um, it's more about just like dumping what's in your brain onto paper, your thoughts, your feelings, journal prompts. If that's what you need to get you going, of course, do them. I do them sometimes as well. Um, affirmations, like in, you can say them, obviously, you can write them down as well. There's scripting, which I have in a whole other book, but I'm not doing that today. Scripting, well, I believe for scripting, you actually have to like feel into it because those that energy just like, you know, brings it into life. Pretty much, a lot of the things I scripted, yes, they have come to life. Um, literally me being here right now. But yeah, I only do scripting when I'm like really, really feeling it. I think there's a, there's a full moon in a couple days, maybe today. I don't know. I script. Apparently you're not supposed to manifest in the full moon, but some people do me and yeah it works do what, do what's best for you the last entry i have in here was march 13th it was kind of like a mini script so i do this sometimes as well and like in my journal instead of in my actual dedicated scripting book but yeah this is just a little one page thing and my scripting book i'll show you guys after where is it Ugh. 
how you want to get up it's i'm so cozy it's really big so that's a whole thing okay so this is my journal and this is my scripting book you can see the difference they kind of look the same on camera or but a little bit but yes my scripting one is definitely way bigger anyways as i said my last entry was three days ago so as i said i don't i don't do everything every single day but you do it when you can Okay, the last thing I do, which is honestly what I probably do the least, which is oracle cards. I'm really feeling it today because I'm in a really good mood. So yes, I have these oracle cards. Um, it's kind of a, can you fuck, well, maybe I should just bring it up. <laughs> it's kind of a spiritual thing. Um, I've talked about these before. There's so many different types of oracle cards or decks, I would say. I used to use a different one, which is more like light and fluffy. Well, yeah, it's more like light and fluffy, I guess. But uh, this is more, I don't know, more real to me. I don't know, whatever. But uh, yeah, they're just cards. Every, ooh, I don't know about this. These are not tarot cards, by the way. I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of scared of tarot cards. Not necessarily scared. I'm scared to buy a pack because tarot cards is a little bit different. You actually have to like know how to read them, like Ace of Cups, Ace of Spades, all those is there ace of spades? I don't know. All those things. But oracle decks are definitely more easier. It's just like you get a message on every card. This is how every deck is. You get a message on every card. Most, I think every single deck, yeah, will or should come with a book. You read up what that message is and you correlate it. That's it. It's actually super crazy how accurate these are. Um, yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't know. If you're hesitant to any of this stuff, I don't, I don't want to say just try it, but maybe if you have a friend that has an oracle deck, maybe they can read a card for you. Otherwise, like, you know, this is not, you don't have to, but yeah, I like doing it. And the messages are always spot on for me. It's just like, God, like, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> you probably see me some days post this. So I'll just be like, the accuracy, like, oh my God, this is so true, things like that. Because it's just like, it can't get any more true. Okay, so we're gonna see what card I get today. I did my little thing in the beginning. I'm supposed to, I don't know, okay. I don't know what the right way to do this. Maybe I should search it up. But personally, I used to just shuffle them. And then I was getting my cards read by like different, like various people. And I would always see they always did this. So I guess you just like, you know, knock the cards. But I always see my thing in the beginning. Cards, spirits, spirit. spirit. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest love, light, and compassion. Please show me the divine message you have for me today. And I just shuffle. It's hard because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to concentrate on this and not focus too much on the camera. Ooh. But basically a message or a card will just pop out and you'll know. You'll you'll just know. There you go. You'll just know which card it is. Sometimes it's two. Oh, this is this is two. I don't like when it's two, because I'm just like, uh, but I'll just shuffle between them. I don't know. I don't know which one to do. I think I kind of maybe saw one in the reflection, but. I'll do this one. Honestly, usually guys, when it is two, sometimes I have to shuffle the whole thing, because I just like when it's just one. Garuda Soprano. Some of these words I honestly don't know. This looks so cool. I love this deck. Okay. So number 42, there's some, um, for all of them, there's like a little healing activity at the end, but I'm honestly not going to do the healing process. I'm just going to read it and we'll be done with my morning routine for the most part. Just a little, probably going to do like a 10 minute meditation, nothing crazy. And then we'll start the day. So basically you can read the little blurb and then they have like more in depth of it, of like what the thing means. And then they have the actual you guys see healing process so i'm just gonna read the little blurb today <gasps> my camera's dying i should charge last night ah okay i'm gonna read charge my camera and i'll be back <laughs> Shit. oh i have an extra camera i have an extra battery i mean i'll be back guys i'm so annoyed i brought my extra battery for my ring light like literally i looked at it and i'm like why do these look so different and then I read it, well, actually, no, honestly, pff, I didn't want to believe it. I tried to fit it in, it wasn't fitting, obviously. And it literally says, 
video light. Can we see this? Can we see this? Is it gonna focus? I don't even know where to look on my camera right now. Whatever, it says video light there, it's not focusing. Oh, just put it in the box. And this is my actual camera battery. So we're just gonna charge my camera. I'm gonna finish doing my, my Oracle card and I'm gonna meditate and then we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'm back. Honestly, I was trying to figure out why my camera battery was dying in the first place, but then I realized that last night I went to the gym and I recorded some clips. So I took those clips. This is what I'm doing while my camera was charging or my battery was charging. Took some clips, put them onto my computer, and then I kind of just made these like little TikToks with them. I think I made about like three or four like drafts. Um, I also have a fitness TikTok account, but like whatever. I'm not gonna like bombard you guys with all my me social medias, medias, whatever, you know. Um, I feel like I did something else too because it is literally 10.20 a.m. So time is flying. Woke up three hours ago. Oh, I meditated. Oh my God. The meditation was fine. But the thing is, at the end, there was this like bell that rang and honestly, it startled me. So like everything was all well peaceful and I, I left the meditation startled. My heart, bum, 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 you know? So that was interesting. And then I just like browsed social media through my phones and stuff. So here we are. 10 o'clock um still being that girl jessica style um so yeah i'm gonna go to the gym right now i'm actually gonna get ready i'm looking at my gym clothes <laughs> gonna get ready um i wanted to do back but i think i'm gonna do like a 12 33 which is 12 incline 30 minutes for three speed it's very popular um, i'm gonna do that and then uh i think tonight i might go back to do back because i really want to do back but like i just don't have too 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 much time because i have to go we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot today but basically after the gym i'm gonna shower get ready we're gonna go get breakfast and a green juice i actually really really want one um and then grocery shopping and then there's a lot more coming up but yeah those are just the, the next few tasks on the list so let's get ready to go to the gym <laughs> Hey guys back from the gym clearly look at this oh my god is my shirt light gray or dark gray take a guess it's supposed to be light gray but uh you know things happen anyways did my little cardio thing added some abs at the end super fun super great it's very it's very sweaty session so that's good okay i'm gonna go shower then we're gonna go get breakfast i'm so ready to eat some days i do intermittent fasting sometimes it's intentional sometimes it just happens like today was kind of like it just happened i did want to go to the gym a little bit earlier but Whatever, it just, it is what it is. It is 11.40, so yeah, let's go. I guess I'll be having lunch. I'm just thinking, because I was supposed to, I, well, not supposed to, I wanted to go to this specific place, but it was more of a breakfast place. I'll have to check the menu afterwards, but yeah, I have to go shower. By the way, I hope we're all on the same page. As soon as you get home from the gym, you wash your hands, right? Even if you're gonna go take a shower, you just wash your hands, you know? Especially nowadays, I hope we're all doing that. <laughs> Okay guys, just got out of the shower. My pimple is growing at a rapid rate. A very rapid rate. But I have some concoctions that it should be gone by tomorrow. You know, that's that's the plan. Putting on my watch. Literally, as you guys know, I wear this every time I'm moving. You know, it just makes me feel active. An active girl, that girl. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go to the same breakfast place. Well, I thought it was a breakfast place, but it's more of like an all day place. They just have breakfast there too. But I'm not gonna have lunch. But I'm gonna have lunch there. So yeah, it's raining, I think. It's maybe supposed to thunderstorm, but I don't know. So we're just gonna go. If a thunderstorm's on the way there, rest in peace. But if a thunderstorm's and I'm actually at the restaurant, I don't know. I have to go grocery shopping after. We'll see, we're just gonna play it by ear. Okay, I'm not even gonna put on makeup because, or like mascara, I would wear mascara and eyeliner pretty much. I'm not gonna put on makeup because honestly, I need to go and get the food. I need to secure the food before I worry about anything else. So let's go and do that. I went from, I'm not wearing make, any makeup at all to just doing a little like, you know, a little something. Okay. I think we're all good to go now. Goodbye. I took a little pit stop before I walked to the grocery store. I did a little bit of walking and I saw that there was this like green area slash water right in front of me. So, well on the map. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll just stop by there. Since it was on the way, I'm really full. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys. Look, it's so chill. There's some guy walking. Do you guys see him over there? Oh, he's meant to go sit down as well. And there's this big building. And then there's a lot of greenery. There's a dog park over there somewhere. Oh, I can't turn all the way, so I'm just gonna turn my body. And yeah. Guys, I need it. I'm sweating. Look at this. Oh my god. I gotta get in. <sighs> Ugh, back on my actual camera now. Oh my god, you guys see this just glistening? <sighs> Let me take a seat and explain a little bit what just happened. Also, still my groceries there. You literally just got in. Oh, first of all, my left arm. I did 10,000 bicep curls on this arm from holding that bag. It was honestly only a 15 minute walk from home. But let me explain what happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Almost broke my neck there. <laughs> First of all, grocery store, great, love it. I'll definitely go back sometime next week. Um, I don't know why. This is the first time this has happened to me since January that I went somewhere and, well, mm, okay. I was gonna say that I went somewhere and they didn't have Wi-Fi. The thing is they did have Wi-Fi. I saw it on the Wi-Fi list. They just, they just, they just didn't give me the password. And that's fine, whatever, like I get it. Not really. But, um, so I basically walked here. I was already gonna walk back. But when I saw her like filling the bag and filling the bag and filling the bag, I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna carry that? But I did it. I did it, I'm proud of myself. Next, um, I need a cold compress on my body ASAP because it's just a lot. Another thing I was thinking about, like as I was going on throughout the day, having like lunch and just thinking, I know this is supposed to be like a that girl video, but I do have to acknowledge that obviously this is gonna be different because I work for myself and I can kind of like, go about my day as I please in a way just depending on like the certain day like today's one of those days so yeah not everybody has the luxury of getting up or getting eight hours of sleep and then being able to kind of just flow through the day I get that I understand that I was almost going to touch my eye and rip out my but you know you guys saw what just happened I just realized I had some makeup on but um yeah so I acknowledge that like not everyone's day is going to be like this because it may have it may seem that I haven't worked yet all day, which is like kind of the truth in a way I did do like that video stuff earlier, but um I am going to be starting actual work in literally 20 minutes. I was gonna go down. Should I just go now? I'm, I was gonna go to the convenience store to get water. I should just do that now Something I'm adding in well Literally very recently adding to my life if I'm thinking of doing something just do it so it can get out of the way, you know, especially if it's something very small, like the water situation is going to take me five minutes, 10 max, it's just downstairs in the plaza. So let's actually put my grocery away, get water, come back, work session. Okay, so the last two weeks were the only two weeks I haven't cooked for myself since I left Canada in January throughout this whole traveling thing. Um, I don't know, I just didn't honestly feel like cooking in Colombia and everything was so cheap. It was like, I might as well just eat out. <laughs> and I, I did. So yeah, this is why this is my first full day in Panama and we did the grocery shopping because we just gotta get back onto track. So, orange bell peppers. Actually, I'll show you guys my list that I'll probably screenshot from Google. I put, well I put grocery shopping in my calendar and then under the description of that task, I just put my grocery list. So this is my grocery list I originally had. I didn't get everything, I got most of the things, but some things I just like switched around. So I got the bell peppers, I got kale, and then instead of bread, because there's no really toaster here that I see, there's like the oven thing, which I actually used to do in my own condo, just like put bread like in the oven, kind of toast it, but I just didn't want to do that. So I kind of got wraps. So I'm like, I guess I'll be having a lot of wrap nights. <laughs> wraps. Um, I got the strawberries. I know I had strawberries and blueberries on the list, but I'm like, I'm just going to stick with those. I just have strawberries. Got the... <laughs> pancake mix to have for breakfast slash brunch. I wanted to get protein pancakes, but it didn't really turn out to be that way. Yeah, one gram of protein. There was another brand, but I was like, add eggs. Then I could have bought the egg replacer, but then I was just like, I didn't want this whole big thing of egg replacer. Got this caramel flavored syrup. Um, I wanted, basically I just tried to find the smallest bottle. There was this one and there was another one, but it was a little bit bigger and I'm like, I just need a very small bottle because I'm not taking any of this stuff back to Canada. So, 
and that's that. I took a little video of this. Pumfu, I don't know how this is gonna be. It's basically tofu made with pumpkin seeds. So we're gonna see how that goes. Lots of protein in it though. I got some granola. Van vanilla, blueberry granola. Never tried it before, so looking forward to that. I got a lot of uh, sparkling water drinks. Um, for me, pretty much like, yes, mm, it's a weird. I feel like I'm liking dessert more nowadays. But basically, you know when you're finished dinner, you want something a little bit sweet? I just have sparkling water, like flavored sparkling water, and it kind of just like hits the spot for me. So I got Dr. Zevia, which I'm guessing is like Dr. Pepper. Um, strawberry. I haven't seen these flavors in Canada, or maybe just not looking. I don't know. Weird. Got kombucha. This is actually, well, <laughs> it was cold. I got it from the fridge, but after that walk, which was sweltering, it's not really that cold anymore. So one more. Cherry cola. I've never got these flavors before, but are they in Canada or not? Um, then I got, okay, I put eight protein packs on that um, list, but I only got two. These two, well, I tried this one before, but I haven't tried Plant Fusion. It's, oh, I should just show, no? How rude of me. So this one I haven't tried before, but it looks really promising. Creamy vanilla bean, if it's good, I would literally go back. I was gonna say tomorrow, but I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I'll go back and get more. And then I got raw organic protein. Basically, I wanted eight because I basically I was like, okay, hey, after every strength session, sh 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 <laughs> I originally wanted eight because I was like, hey, after every like workout strength wise, not just like cardio, I would get protein. But then I'm like, hey, I'm eating dinner. Basically, I plan to do cardio in the morning, strength at night. So if I'm doing strength at night, I'll just come home, shower, and eat my protein filled meal. I'm not gonna eat dinner every day here. Well, I do plan on eating dinner definitely Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today's Wednesday. Um, and then one of the days on the weekend, I'll go out to eat dinner. So I'll just like have this after my workout. You know, hopefully that's making sense because I don't know why I said I wanted to eat. And every one of these, I think, are five bucks. What was I thinking? But I probably will need more, but just, just not yet. Got the onions, got tempeh. Guys, I, I, used, I used to get this from um, Canada as well. It is so good. Um, tempeh smoky bacon. If you, um, tempeh is like a plant based protein. If you are planning to go plant based or just add more plant based food to your diet, definitely get this. Don't, don't, don't get roller tempeh, get this. And you may like it. I was, gonna, I was gonna make a big like promise, but you may like it. And it's protein, um, there's lots of fiber. That's the word I was looking for. Fiber in here too. So that's good. And then I got hemp hearts. And hemp hearts is really basically supposed to be like extra protein for the protein pancakes. But since this doesn't I should have got two of these. It's okay, I'm gonna go back. Since this doesn't have protein, I'm definitely gonna be adding a lot of this. Um Hmm, what if I actually find an extra one of these so that I can add? I may go to a different grocery store tomorrow to see like what they have too. Anyways, that's everything I got. Bird's eye view of everything I got. Yum. Um, I think the only thing I'm missing is chips. With a little hee hee. Um, they didn't have good flavors. It was just like a lot of popcorn, a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the, not the whole store wasn't vegan, so there was a lot of like non-vegan chips as well. So I'm like, okay, whatever, forget that. And the blueberries, I was just like, actually, I didn't even have blueberries since I think about it. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna put these away. Am I the only one that puts maple syrup in the fridge? Like I feel like I just <gasps> wait. Oh no. Oh my god. For a second, I thought I got caramel syrup, but I'm glad it's caramel flavored syrup because I can't eat food with caramel syrup. It's just like, ugh. This bag is actually tough. It was holding everything. You can see it was, it was, if I had a couple more steps, we would have had a problem. Guys, look, it's growing. <laughs> hey guys, back. We secured two waters. Two, two liter waters, yes. Oh no. Oh no, I just saw it, it was the Sony. Oh no. <sighs> okay. I hope it doesn't taste like this. 
Isn't the Sony the Sony though? Or thank God I only got two. I was gonna get so much and stock up. Guys, the Sony is horrible. And then I got some coconut water. So I'm actually gonna just have the coconut water. This is really warm. I think they just stocked this. There was a guy stocking water. I don't mind because I do have this cold water in here. So I'm gonna have some coconut water. Rehydrate myself. 9.7k steps. Okay. Let's get all my belongings and go get some work done. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm going to first post a picture on Instagram. I took some by the water and I was like, okay, kind of like them. Also, kind of like, if you look at my Instagram right now, it's, it looks like a little bit of a mess. Like, yes, there's a theme going on, but it's just not what I want it to be. So I have to, I want to add more pictures of me, you know? Like, I had a lot of like real coverage, which is all me. Then I stopped for a bit, I did some like other reels, like lifestyle reels, and none of them really had me in the forefront so yeah we're gonna go back to putting me on um and i'm gonna edit two ugc's um send them to brands email it to them um what else i was gonna film an airbnb tour for where i am right now in panama but now that it's like four or something i don't know it's not as sunny as like it was let's say yesterday would have been a good day but i was just like tired um so not today i'll do that tomorrow and then i'm going to get all the clips i have so far for today and get a head start on my editing because this video that you're watching is going up on friday march ah, today is 16th so 18th yes 18th um i did do like an unofficial promise or i put it out there kind of that like tuesday and fridays are my upload dates that has been the plan or that has been going on for the past two weeks and i feel like it's a little bit better like that because you know people have it in their headboard or their title or what's it called their banner when it's like uploading this day and this day i don't want to make a promise no i don't think that i can't keep but like that gets me more stressed out but i said tuesday and friday i've been doing tuesday and friday yes it's only been two weeks i think this week will be three weeks i think so um but yeah that's that um lots of uh social media stuff but um it's just it's just life you know okay let's try this coconut water there were so oh my god guys there were so many good things at the convenience store it wasn't a convenience store it was like a mini grocery store i saw blueberries i saw every fruit you can guess i saw a lot of things Coconut water always hits the spot. And it's so weird that I'm saying that because like a few years ago, I did not like coconut water at all. Like I liked it sometimes in smoothies, but like buying a, bo a bottle of coconut water, I would never do that. And right now I'm just like, whoa. I, my cells are tingling. Okay, we're gonna post a picture. I don't know why I have my laptop out, like I'm ready to do something on it, which I'm not. Um, I didn't really, I took six seven eight nine nine photos which is good like i don't like taking like 30 photos and trying to figure out just one like i'm gonna take 10 9 10 and there's gonna be one in there and if not sucks to suck what there was something on my face in these photos great and that is why that's why people use facetune to take something out what is is that still on my face right now i'm gonna look at my it's like a crumb or something is it not That's weird. Maybe it was for my mask? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a million times. I know this may not seem like work, but it really is. It's just not a traditional type of work. Can Big Sean and Janae Aiko get married already or what? Guys, I'm just about to post the picture on Instagram and I came across this reel from James Wedmore. He is like a business coach. Is that what he calls himself? Let's see. He doesn't call himself anything, but he's a business coach. Um, and this reel is just literally me right now because for a second I was thinking, I'm like, oh my God, like, yes. Okay, forget about the that girl thing, but just like my work in general, like I don't work eight hour days, right? And I'm like, I was feeling bad portraying everything on this video because it's like four o'clock and I'm just starting to work now. And this 
real literally demos like this reel that I just came across literally explains everything. And I'm gonna post it right here. Less you do, the more you'll make. Here's why. If you are in business for yourself, if you're an entrepreneur, you are not an employee. Your wage, your salary, and your income is not contingent upon how long and how hard you work. You are the owner of your business. And at the end of the day, if we took a long laundry list of to-dos, of all the items that you needed to do in your business, it comes down to just about 5%. 5% of those activities are responsible for 95% of the revenue and results that you desire in your business. That is why the less you do, the more you'll make. Because when you focus on the 5%, you'll be doing less and making more. So yeah, that's literally me. It's like I, the less I work, the more I make. Yes, I have to do action, but I, with what I do, I just don't need to be working eight hours a day. Um, I don't know why I feel like I have to explain myself because every time people are explaining themselves on camera, I'm just like, don't explain yourself. Like you don't have to, but I really do feel like I have to. So yeah, that that's just my life. <laughs> okay. I'm almost done, but I'm taking a little break. The, I think it's golden hour right now, which is why the lighting looks so good. I'm putting on my shoes. I'm going back to that. What happened to my voice? I'm going back to that convenience store because I realized for dinner, I'm obviously gonna make wraps, but um, I don't have like a, like a sauce. I don't know if they'll have hummus there. Maybe, if not, avocado. I realized I didn't get that. That was on my list as well. So I'm like, why don't I have like some sauce type of thing? Um, at the store I went to earlier, like the actual grocery store, I did see like, I was looking for sauce, like I saw ketchup and all that sauce. I saw sauce, but all the bottles were so big. I'm like, I don't need such a big bottle. I didn't finish my coconut water yet, but we're working guys. We're zooming. It's 5.30. Um, maybe we'll eat dinner at 7. I'll start cooking at 7. Be done by 8. Or I was going to say be finished by 8. Something like that, I don't know. Let's go. It literally looks like I haven't moved at all, but I went there. So I got my two avocados. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Hopefully by the time I eat dinner, they're actually cold. Cause I like avocado to be cold, you know, not warm. And I got this like Larry, is it Larry? Lenny and Larry protein cookie thing. I've seen it in multiple places. I don't think I've tried the birthday cake on before. So that's that. <laughs> Still a little bit more work to do and then I don't know. I kind of don't know if I'm going to go to the gym. I'm not ruling it out, but I did go this morning. But I do want to do back, but we'll see. Hey guys, it is 7.30. Oh wow, 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, um, I did a little bit of work. So I did about like two and a half, three hours today, I guess, since I did that little um, outing. Um, we're gonna make dinner now. <laughs> I also have pimple cream, well, I guess it's cream. Pimple cream on my face. Two spots. Um, and yeah, so last time my face looks like this. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube as I get my stuff prepped. I'm gonna be making wraps with I feel kind of full like that cookie is actually like 400 and something calories so I'm not like too too hungry I thought I was gonna make like two wraps make them like you know filled and stuff like that but I'm probably just gonna have one wrap with kale have some tempeh obviously dice not dice <laughs> make my onions I'm like blend I can sand I can sand um yeah and then I got my avocado as well so Let's make dinner. Battery's dying again, but yeah, this is what I made. It's gonna be a wrap once I fold it all together. It's pretty, pretty.
pretty hefty, but um, this is dinner. Okay guys, I just did my little nightly stretch, especially my legs because I did legs a couple days ago so I need to stretch them out because I feel the lactic acid building up and it's, it's not a good time right now, it's not a good time so we're, I'm gonna sit like this, sit in a butterfly position. Literally look at this, we're just gonna, we're just gonna sit like that. My hair tie here. So I wanna do a little outro with this whole like that girl situation. So as I was saying earlier, that girl is basically the best version of you of what you can do with the lifestyle you have with the schedule that you have not everybody as i said earlier can wake up at 5 a.m not everybody can wake up at 7 a.m you know some people have to wake up at a certain time to go to their nine to five and that's just what works best for you if you can wake up 20 minutes earlier and you want to get in like a meditation want to get in like a little stretching in the morning sure whatever works best for you that is what that girl is so today i did my version of what that girl means to me and yeah i had my eight hours of sleep amazing i woke up at a good time did my morning routine you guys saw everything i did today grocery shopping had brunch slash lunch um yeah did everything that i enjoy doing worked out like i had a good day and i know as i said earlier not everybody can like have the day that i have but that that is why that girl is your definition you know like you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m you don't have to have a green juice every day you don't have to only eat fruits and veggies and chicken or whatever you know like you can make it what you want it to be so I think that's all I have to say for today. Um, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 10, 20, maybe 10, 30. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed again at 11. But tomorrow I am waking up at six instead of seven just because I didn't get to edit any of this video from today. So I think I have, I filmed so much today and I have some on my phone as well from places I didn't bring my camera. So yeah, we're gonna be in the coffee shop tomorrow probably for like a good four or five hours. So that's it. Which I don't mind because I'm gonna get a matcha from my place down the block and they have the best matcha ever and I'm just gonna be doing my thing. Also, side note, I know that my food, my dinner tonight was burnt. I know, I know, it tasted really good. I finished literally everything off the plate, but sometimes I like food to be a little bit on the burnt side and it happens, you know? Don't judge me. <laughs> that is me, you know? It's not gonna be perfect aesthetic, it's just gonna be how I make it because I am that girl. There you go. If you have any video ideas you want me to do, just leave them in the comment section down below. I do have a lot of videos planned. Literally, I don't know what happened. A couple days ago, I went on this little like, I don't want to call it a rampage, but I was already laser focused on like videos I want to bring up for YouTube. So I basically had two week planned until the end of April. I don't know what happened, but I have all these ideas I want to do and all these things I want to do, especially when I get back to Canada. But um, yeah, so it's definitely two a week for sure. I may add a third in here or there if you have any ideas so yeah i'm open to that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every single one of you don't forget to hit the subscribe button look at me holding this hit the subscribe button down below because it helps me a lot and i will see you guys in the next one